like and subscribe, and you'll have amazing luck for the rest of the week. Famous bodybuilders then and now. Do you fancy a bulky physique? Can you keep up with all the discipline it takes to maintain one? Well, today's video takes you down a memory lane featuring some of the most iconic bodybuilders that have ever lived. You would not want to pick a fight with any of these fellas during their prime. Number 15, Jay Cutler. Jay Cutler started his journey to his career path at the age of 11. Not officially, but he joined the family business of construction, where he was a worker there. He took bodybuilding seriously at the age of 20 when he started in competition. Can you imagine this big guy had more than 30 successful competitions? Winning 11 of them and 23 of them being in the top 3? Jay officially retired from bodybuilding in 2013. He had suffered a serious bicep injury in 2011 that sadly significantly dulled his ability to compete professionally. After his retirement, Jay Cutler is now achieving tremendous success in multiple ventures. He recently launched his fashion brand called Cutler Athletics. Number 14, Ronnie Coleman. This eight-time Olympia champion has been through heck and back since childhood. He had a successful life until he got injuries in his back, and this led to multiple serious surgery. Though nothing held him back, he was still determined to score higher even after doctors told him he would get paralyzed. Upon his defeat by Jay Cutler in 2006, this guy had undergone 10 back and 2 neck surgeries. I guess all the surgeries were a part of him and no one can escape fate. He's still fit as he maintains his body, but just not as seriously as before. And he's been taking stem cell treatment. This guy cannot risk his body breaking any further. Number 13, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold is not a new name to almost every set of ears out there, but most of us know him as a great actor in various action movies. If you didn't already know, he was a famous bodybuilder. This idol retired in 1980 after the 1975 Mr. Olympia contest. He also had earned seven Mr. Olympia awards. He started his acting way back in 1969 as his success attracted many investors in his direction. His life is like a novel. We see all his successes in various areas and it all starts with his good body figure. So to date, he still works out to maintain his tool for his success. This guy is pushing 70 and can still squat, deadlift, and he can still bench press. What can we say? It seems training is addictive. Number 12, Paul Dillett. Here comes the Mr. Suspender guy. He was a rib cracking guy back in his days, as he would pose for photos like a model, as his body says it all. He had one of the freakiest physiques we've ever seen on the Olympia stage, which earned him great nicknames like Freakenstein and Jurassic Paul. Not only was he shredded to the bone, he also had a pack of muscles that showed no mercy to his competitors who stood in his way. The freeze thing is very common to these heavy builders due to dehydration, and unfortunately, Paul had one of these on his muscle. This guy takes the cup though. He showed the ability to bounce back from a huge belly to a 8-pack sized guy before his competition. He retired in 2012 after a successful bodybuilding career. Since competing in bodybuilding, Paul Dillett's downsized a lot. He looks like a regular guy now. After his bodybuilding career, he launched the WBFF, World Beauty Fitness and Fashion. He founded this organization because he felt that available organizations weren't for everyone. Number 11, Linda Murray. Some people out there might think that women can't build up as they're gentle or fragile, but here's Linda who's put all those people to shame. Murray's physique became the standard against which professional female bodybuilders are now judged. An hourglass figure with broad shoulders tapering into a V. Her story is mind-blowing. She took a U-turn from being a cheerleader to a bodybuilder due to her amazing genetics and body physique. The eight-time Miss Olympia started her journey and rise to fame as the most successful female bodybuilder. She's now an IFBB and NPC promoter and owner of Crystal Planet Nutrition. Number 10, Marcus Rule. From a soccer player to a professional bodybuilder, Marcus has set a tremendous record 
for having the most impressive shoulders ever seen in bodybuilding. This path was never his dream initially until he got a leg injury, and the doctor proposed to him this path to heal faster and resume his normal life. Instead, that workout led to another successful career until his retirement in 2010. In 2018, he started his own supplement company, Rules Bestus. Number 9. Flex Wheeler As is his name, this guy can flex from a car crash to a winning champion. His ambitions could never be stopped by anything, as his body, let's just say, was made of iron. Just like any other normal guy, he had his ups and downs. After he survived a car accident, he was to be left paralyzed, but luck was on his side, and upon his comeback, he defeated all of his opponents. Later on, he began having illnesses leading to investors withdrawing. But that didn't stop him from his future. He now owns a shoe company, and despite his leg being amputated, he still does his normal routine workouts. This is real proof of what it means to have the heart of a warrior. Number 8. Tom Prince Prince won his IFBB Pro card in 1997, and in 2001, he had his highest position of being third in the Night of Champions. During his preparation for the championships in 2003, he suffered from kidney failure, which led to him unfortunately calling off his career. His side chest pose was ranked the greatest of all time even though his kidneys couldn't take it anymore. Every sad story has a happy ending, though. After battling for a long time, happiness came his way when he had a transplant in 2012 and now runs a business with his wife. Today, he's only 185 pounds, skinny, and looks nothing like his former bodybuilder self. Number 7. Mustafa Muhammad The story of Mustafa is like a book with ripped-off pages seemingly seen rising at the age of 26 making great success to non-IFBB championships. He later went missing for almost a decade, where if he was around, we thought that he would have risen to his peak and had big paydays. For him though, he became a family man, and upon his comeback, he had many unsatisfying performances, and never passed third, and sometimes not even in the top 10. Despite this, he had a unique thickness that left many agape. Does this guy ever regret his choices though? Well, that's not for us to personally answer. He now runs a fitness gym and seems content with his life. That's why he'll always be known as the thick man with unknown misery. Number 6. Mike Francois Studying to become a priest, his path changed in 1991 after he met his wife. His professional journey began, and he was doing quite well with his bronze thighs and muscles that popped in the classic Arnold Schwarzenegger way and kept the winning streak alive. In 1996, he beat Flex Wheeler. Sadly though, his profession came to an abrupt halt as he suffered from ulcerative colitis. That made him lose quite a lot of weight. Today, he still maintains his fitness and has many written articles on different topics while still caring for his family. Number 5. Kevin Leverone A musician, blogger, and actor, this man with many talents rose to fame after winning at the age of 23. His main aim was to win 20 pros, and he achieved it. In 1992, Kevin damaged his major and minor pectoral after bench pressing 600 pounds. He took a rest until he announced his comeback in 2016. His main agenda wasn't to win, but to show an example of setting a goal and accomplishing it. Since then, he's been doing workouts building his physique, as we're not sure if he's still in it for the game. Either way, best wishes for him as he's proven that age is just a number. Number 4. Gunter Schlierkamp Being the only bodybuilder to have defeated Ronnie Coleman during his reign, making it to the top 5, this giant rose in fame in the 90s as his physique was so promising. Unfortunately though, he was skipped over as best of the best most of the time. Despite this, he was the public's favorite, and he didn't mind at all before his unannounced retirement when he appeared 10th in 2002. Today, he and his wife Kim Lyons own Bionic Body, a holistic gym in Hermosa Beach, California. We don't expect him to pull a Leverone comeback, as he's content with his life, happily married, and fit. Number 3. Bob Paris this former IFBB World Bodybuilding Champion amazed many as he was the heaviest armature in the game, standing 6 feet and weighing 230 pounds. 
and that uniqueness kept him in the winning spotlight. In 32 pro contests, he made it to the third position nine times. His flawless physique always put him on the run, and this contributed to him not making it to the pros. After calling it off, he now works as a writer and a lecturer and lives on a Canadian island. Number two, John Pierre Fuchs. As his last name is pronounced as Fuchs, he's a humble man and very gentle. He peaked in popularity in the 1990s. He appeared as the IFBB champion, and in 2002, he had injuries that needed to be attended to. Despite him being so physically fit, in 2020, he had an accident that required knee surgery, and he's still on the road to recovery. It hasn't been quite easy, but our champ keeps positive. Number 1. Lou Ferrigno Everyone has a story. Even Mr. Hulk didn't have a smooth childhood. Lou Ferrigno is a profound bodybuilder who had hearing issues, and this led to him being harassed at school. The only option he had was to make himself big to scare off his enemies, and it worked in his favor. Although his parents were broke, he made his weights from cement and broomsticks. In 1969, Lou rose to fame after winning the Mr. Universe IFBB twice, and also was featured in the live TV series The Incredible Hulk. After his retirement, he devoted himself to being a family man and an actor. This dude is amazing, but as always, see you next time.